So again, uh, welcome to Julian, who will talk about the consequences of TD and SPD. Okay, okay, thanks. Thanks for the invitation. And uh, yeah, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, some consequences of TD and uh, SHD. Uh, this project is ongoing, so we have not finished it totally. So just to pull some scattered results. Okay. Uh, Okay, what is uh, TD? TD is uh, Turing determinant. It says uh, if uh, for every set uh, of Turing degrees, either A or the complement of A contains an uh, um, upper cone. Uh, upper cone means a uh, uh, set of degrees less uh, base X such that every Y to the above X belongs to this set A. So it's upper cone. And the strongly Turing determinant says uh, uh, for every set A of reals, if the range, if the Turing degree range cofinally, then A has a pointed subset. Pointed subset is a perfect set. And in which every real compute the presentation of this uh, perfect set. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a special perfect set. So actually, then if it's a pointed, uh, set then it it contains this Turing degree contains an upper cone the the base of the upper cone is exactly the representation of the perfect uh, tree so this is uh, STD and the uh, less uh, uh, famously Martin proved uh, AD implies STD and of course clearly uh, STD implies uh, AD. And uh, Martin proved this because he didn't believe AD is consistent, and uh, he said he saw he saw that maybe uh, he can use uh, get a, a counter example for TD, but actually uh, we don't know right yeah. until now we don't know. Uh, so uh, now we assume it's, it's they all are consistent with ZF, and uh, yeah. And uh, why people are interested in TD? Because there are many people, they, they investigated the TD because uh, some people think, uh, like, like Harry Friedman, they, he thinks the TD is uh, more natural than AD and uh, it should be excellent to replace AD. And, and uh, actually, in, inside the theory, people use the TD to construct the models. And uh, it's, it's very useful to us and it's more natural. It's, the statement of TD is natural, it doesn't uh, const. Uh, related uh, says uh, related to any gains, just a set of two degrees has such such properties. So it's, it looks more natural and it's neat. So let's, uh, so people actually uh, want to replace TD with uh, AD and uh, yeah. And uh, uh, the opposite, opposite, uh, as opposite side of TD is AD is uh, X of choice. And uh, let's say a uh, two weak version of axial choice. The first is uh, CCA. So given a numbered set A, CCA says uh, uh, for any countable sequence uh, AN, which is a subset of A, there is a choice function uh, such that for, on, for any N, F in AN. And this is CCA, the countable choice for A. And the dependent choice says uh, uh, for any uh, relation, binary relation A over A. If four X like this Y, X Y, then there's a countable sequence Xn from A such that for any N R Xn Xn plus Y. So you can find that as descending sequence. Essentially, essentially you can say it's a descending sequence. So of course DCA implies CCA and uh, the, the reverse is not uh, true. And uh, yeah, and the DCA, is a stronger statement than CCA. And uh, <clears throat> so clearly AD implies not AC or it's, they, are, they have contradiction. And I, but uh, actually uh, AD implies a, a very big, uh, I will very pick uh, a very, very weak piece of uh, axiom choice like uh, CF plus AD implies CCR. This was observed by Maciejewski and uh, yeah, so, and, and uh, actually CCI is very useful and we need it uh, because we, so, so for example, we want to uh, investigate the major theory, uh, study major theory or uh, discrete 
uh, mostly we need we need the CCA. So this is this actually this is a very important uh, observation. Otherwise, uh, uh, CF plus AD cannot do many things. So we need the CCA, CCA. And uh, and uh, it's uh, calculus uh, uh, proved that CF plus V equal to L R plus AD implies DC. Actually, he proved uh, it implies DCR, and then of course it's. Then it's consequent uh, CF plus V equal to LR plus AD uh, implies DC. And uh, so AD is, a, uh, is a, okay, you can think AD is consistent with DC because that's a, so, such a natural model. And, uh, and then it's a big open problem. And it's, it's a long standing question inside the theory whether CF plus AD implies DCR. Uh, and uh, yeah, we don't know this still until now. We don't know the, uh, how to uh, whether it's true or not. But uh, of course, they are consistent. But uh, uh, if you find the conjecture, then then essentially collapse. And so, so uh, we 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 don't know what it's uh, a plus a d implies uh, d c r. Also, uh, about the uh, t d and the uh, choice and uh, recently and uh, Peng and I. We prove that CF plus TD also implies CCR. So within TD, we can prove, uh, we can do something like uh, AD. So uh, most of the time, uh, uh, when, uh, like, uh, okay, uh, sensory, they, they, when they use the TD, they always uh, uh, add another uh, something like a CCR, but now we, we, we can get rid of this. So, so we know CF plus TD plus implies CCR. And this proof is, uh, is some kind of interesting. Uh, so it's a cocktail proof. It's a seventy percent recursion theory plus plus thirty percent of set theory masters, and we finally proved this. And uh, and uh, so and uh, the question now we have some pro open problems. For, for example, does C F plus T D implies is that? Of course, this is a stronger question than C F plus. We don't know A D. So we don't know the TD either. And uh, maybe we, we, we are not sure whether they can be, be independent, but uh, yeah, we don't know. And uh, also we don't know whether CF plus V equal to LR plus the TD implies the DCR. I guess this, this should be true, but uh, we, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, because uh, in calculus proof, he used uh, his, uh, AD, full, he used uh, a full AD and uh, used a lot of things uh, developed by uh, steel and, uh, and uh, but this this machinery need also need a full AD. So we don't now we don't know. Currently we don't know how to prove this. And we, yeah, so also open problem. And uh, also we don't know. So uh, now let's look at the weak version of uh, dependent choice. Uh, weakly dependent choice it says for any binary ratio over years for any x. And uh, the 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 rules which have has win relation with the x has positive in the margin. Then there's a then there's a consequence there's a countable sequence real study for only an x and x plus one. So we impose a stronger condition over uh, this relation. We need for any x not just a like this one. We need like this many y's uh, such that. Uh, so that they have a positive in the margin, then, and uh, yeah, and then we can prove this. If you add a, uh, the this proof is is okay. Uh, I I split the screen uh, screen and so I give the proof and uh, so the proof is like this and it's very interesting because we use a uh, Chanel uh, randomness. So now for any z, uh, for any z, we know uh, like the x two in above z, such that x is low for Chanel z random, and uh, the x double jump can be arbitrarily high. The double jump, Turing double jump, uh, can be arbitrarily high. Very high, can be very high. And uh, 
is it raises the uh, upper cone, of course. And uh, so now, now given C, given C, and uh, and uh, okay, uh, given C, and then we find X uh, to the above C such that uh, S double jump is so high. Size every every uh, rears below two point zero jump. Okay, size every schnor every schnor random r schnor random r relative to x double jump has a relation with uh, uh, every rear below zero jump a uh, three jump. We can see this. Okay, uh, we we just uh, okay. Uh, let's look, get back. Because it has in a uh, positive in the module, so we can see this is a closure under two ring equivalence ratio. Then it must have module one because it has a positive in the module. Then, then if under, then we just assume it's uh, uh, it's closed under two ring uh, two ring equivalence ratio. So we uh, we just assume for any x, almost every real y has a relation with x. So it means, but how many rears below two inch the jump? A uh, three jump, only count of many rears. Only count of many rears. So well, there must be a very, uh, so we can make X double jump so high, such that every X double jump should not run them. X Alert for jump no backups for 2,586 days. Sorry. <laughs> so X double jump, every X double jump should not run them has a relation with every rear below zero uh, C jump. Uh, okay, so and then we also know that uh, or we also can make X double jump called uh, to ring about C jump. So then it means like this E such as phi E X double jump equal to C equal to C. So now we replace uh, a C jump. So we now we replace phi e X double jump with C. Uh, uh, C jump, and uh, and uh, because uh, X is too ring about C, and the low force should not run, C should not run them. So, so it means, and the C jump compute C should not run them. So C jump must compute X should not run them. because it's low for low for should not run, low for C should not run. X is low for C should not. So C jump compute. Uh, it's not random relative to x, so that means the phi e x double jump compute the uh, uh, compute the x is not random. So we know then we fix this e, we fix this e, then we know this set x phi e x double jump compute x is not random. And for every rear below, to ring below x phi e x double jump, and every x double jump is not random. We have such a relation. This is cofinal. For some e is a cofinal. We know because CCI is true, so we can fix some e such as this cofinal. And so this is uh, this contains up cone. You can fix such e. This contains up cone. Now fix this uh, fix up cone. Then we we'll, let's look at uh, the base. Okay, now look at the x zero. X zero. Then we know v x zero. V x zero double jump. And then x x dot zero double jump, and the phi uh, x zero four jump, and x four jump, and the four jump. So now uh, fix any x zero random, should not random, say r zero, r zero. And uh, we know, and that is two ring below. Uh, it's of course uh, two ring below. Okay. Two ring below x phi x double uh phi phi any x zero is not random. Two ring below phi x zero double jump. Then we know every x zero double jump should not random has a relation with uh, r zero. So we pick up r one below phi x zero four jump, which is r uh, x double zero double jump should not random. So this has a relation, R1 has a relation with R0. And the blah, 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 we, and so on, we can build a sequence, countable sequence, R1, R2, and uh, so 
then we build such a sequence. So, and of course, it looks like we need a GC, but actually, we we were just walking below X omega jump. We just walking below X omega jump. Then we can, yeah. Then you can do whatever you want. Use for AC below X X omega jump. So we can prove DC, WDCR. So this is a proof. G plus TD implies WDCR. So, so we know this. And of course, you, you can change it to be this W, say, Comega uh, has bare priority body, but not Mega. And you can also prove the same result, just use uh, low for generality. So this is a proof. OK. Now, the last question is uh, OK. AD, AD can prove lots of regularity. Uh, property of uh, set of rears. Like uh, if uh, uh, many due to uh, Masiewski and he proved uh, on the <coughs> CF plus AD plus DC, every set of, set of rears has the perfect set property. It means every uncountable set of rears has a perfect subset. And uh, it's measurable and has pair property. And uh, and uh, it's a, uh, okay. It's a, it's a long study. Okay, can I do that? Okay. Uh, I sh for that, I show uh, the questions for you, and uh, it's a long-standing question. Uh, uh, what does CF plus TD imply the regularity for sets of reals? And actually, Sami proved uh, as this was asked uh, by Sami in the nineteen eighties, I guess, and uh, in his PhD thesis, and uh, and uh, he proves uh, actually CF plus TD, TD implies CH. So the PSP is almost uh, true, but actually. We don't know, uh, yeah. We don't know uh, why CF plus TD implied perfect set property, but uh, he, he used a very smart trick to prove, he proved the uh, CF plus TD implied CH. And we also don't know whether CF plus TD, oh, I asked this question, uh, plus TC implies ST. And, uh, but, uh, but STD is, uh, uh, is a nice, has a nice property and uh, and uh, it uh, implies, uh, yeah, STD is stronger than TD. Uh, looks like a uh, strong, uh, I don't know, maybe may, uh, not, not quite stronger. And, uh, and uh, we, we assume STD, and our set of reals is measurable and has bare property. And uh, if we assume DCR, then our set of reals has a perfect set property. And uh, the second part, uh, the proof of the second part is uh, the most difficult one, and uh, I will not give you the proof here. It, it's based on Sami's uh, trick. So I just give you the proof of uh, every set of reals has a measurable, uh, it's measurable. And uh, it's, it's, it's also a very interesting uh, application of which randomness theory. So, uh, so because the CCR is a whole, the, uh, because we prove TD implies CCR, so STD also implies CCR. So now we to prove my uh, every set is measurable, then we just need to prove every measurable. If okay, this statement: if uh, for any set A, if every measurable set of A is not, then A must be not. We just prove this. So now suppose every measurable set of A, subset of A is not, then we prove A is not. So uh, if not, if A is not not, then by CCR and, the lay, uh, and then for any X, if it's not not, then for any X, and the A contains X Shinoran, like this uh, R, X Shinoran, okay. uh, like this X, uh, R, X Shinoran, Such that the X R sorry R belongs to A. R belongs to A. So uh, uh, so uh, but we we uh, we, uh, we know like this uh, uh, for any oh, okay sorry uh, so uh, we know. Uh, uh, X Shinoran and X X. Okay, 
Okay, because this, so for any X legacy R should not, uh, uh, legacy R should not run and, and uh, belong to this. So now, now for any X, we find some Y, find some, find some Y. Y is two linear bar X and the Y is low for X should not run them. But the double jump Y can be actually high. So then for this R, this R is also should not run the relative to Y, but we can make a Y double jump to ring above R, to ring above R. So that means the legacy is fixed E such a phi Y double jump uh, is, is Y should not run. It's Y should not run. And this is cofinal because by actually X and uh, and uh, we, we know this cofinal. So so this set B has a perfect has a so this cofinal ranges to to degree cofinal. So it has a perfect subset. And uh, a perfect subset of P. Then for this perfect subset of P, so this set this set C. This set C is a sigma on one. Both phase sigma one one set. It's a it's a both phase sigma one one set. So the not not sigma one one x. It's a both phase sigma one one set. And because it con because uh, p is a pointed set. So and uh, so let this is sigma one one set. So this must cannot be now. This cannot be now because this is a pointed set. It's always uh, this always x should not run, and the, this x uh, can be actually high. The twenty degree of x can be actually as high, so this cannot be now. But this sigma one set also by the assumption because b subset a, so this is also so subset a. So it's a both of these sigma one one set subset of a, but now not now. So we got a contradiction. So we prove that is if A is every modulable A now subset is now, then it must be now. Then we prove, then we can prove, yeah, every set is measurable. So this is uh, this is proof. Okay. To prove the major measurability. Okay. So this is an open problem. And we, we we don't know whether this uh, this is true. And uh, okay. So, so this uh, also we can we will also uh, prove some other stuff such that uh, every locally countable linear order cannot be embedded to reals uncountable locally countable linear order and uh, yeah and uh, but uh, but uh, this this question is still open and uh, we don't know whether CF plus TD implies a regular property for sets of reals. Okay, this is the first part of our talk. And the second part is uh, like this. Okay, uh, this is related to Tad's talk in Obwafa and uh, the, the, the implication to uh, to uh, Hostoff dimension. And uh, so, uh, uh, but just uh, with the Moran, they proved that for any sigma one one set, and uh, the Hostoff Hostoff dimension of A can be approximated uh, by is a compact subset or closer subset. And, uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, we will prove this result later, you use, uh, use determinants. And, uh, and the, the major tools <coughs> are from randomness. So loops, they, loops and loops, they, uh, they provide use for theorem. And it says for any set of reals, the Hausdorff dimension A is just, uh, the maximum uh, and the minimum maximum is, is, is like this. Yeah, it's, it's uh, it, the, you, you can change, it's, it's such a says you can change, switch, uh, transform the host of one dimension of a set of reals to be uh, reals, to investigate the, uh, the reals, the host of dimension of single reals. So you just need to uh, look at uh, all the reals A which can, the hot stuff of dimension, okay, it's, it's, what it can be looks like. So uh, it's, it's a, 
like this. And, uh, and uh, okay, so, and uh, in our board for talk, and, uh, and the tide that he proved if we equal to L, then BM theorem fails for pi on one set, for a light phase pi on one set. And uh, so, uh, so it's, uh, you, you cannot prove this for uh, fully, and uh, it's, it's only true for C, uh, CFC can only prove sigma one one. And so for pi one one, uh, we have a counter example under the assumption e equal to L. And actually, it's a proof. It's, it's very interesting. And actually, uh, of course, it can be slightly weakened to the RL. The considerable the set of considerability is not now. So uh, this is uh, uh, the background of uh, the, the second part of my talk. So, and, uh, and uh, we needed to some uh, previous uh, results uh, by Madison School and, uh, and uh, they proved that the low four hostop dimension can be the, the, the jump of low four hostop dimension can be arbitrarily high. So this is very useful theory. And we will use this to prove uh, by STD, we will prove uh, BM this result. It means uh, it said, uh, if X, uh, for any analytic set, and uh, it can be closed about the same here by close subset. So, because uh, A is uh, okay. because A is a sigma one one. Because A is a sigma one one. So the classical distribution set theory says A can be decompose decomposed into uh, omega one sequence of Borel set. Borel set. So uh, every I have, okay, you can see this, okay, you can see this increasing sequence of the Borel set. And uh, so uh, then, uh, so uh, we will we, we'll see, okay, for the simplicity, uh, we will we'll just assume that the host of, of, host of dimension A uh, is one. We just uh, simply assume it's one and uh, for, for the simplicity, it doesn't harm the proof. So, and uh, now let for any real x, for any real x, and uh, we, uh, okay, we let alpha x to be the least ordinal such that the effective host of dimension relative to x over the sequence becomes stable. Because stable means uh, after the, okay, after the alpha x, the host of dimension relative to x, a alpha, uh, equal to delta for stable real delta less than one, less than less than one, and because it's host of dimension is one, so it it uh, it must be such a real, and uh, so uh, uh, if of course if it's one then we are done, yeah, and uh, and uh, if for any x is is one then we are done, so. Uh, so we just assume this, uh, uh, of course, oh yeah, equal to delta. So, and uh, now by, the, by this theorem, by this theorem, so for any real x, for any real x, we can find a real, to real power x, the low four x should not run them. Low four, low four x should not run them. Then it means alpha y equal to alpha x. But the y jump, can be very high such that uh, alpha y less than omega one y jump, y jump. So it means alpha y, alpha x, sorry, alpha x. Alpha x is recursive ordinal. Y, y jump recursive ordinal. Of course, then it must be y recursive ordinal. So y recursive ordinal. So we can, then we can find, uh, so this real, this set of reals, uh, and uh, such that, uh, okay, if we, uh, something like, I skip the details and uh, such that, like, okay, this kind of real such that, uh, so, so uh, alpha y is recursive in, recursive in alpha, so recursive in y uh, is confined. Uh, this is confined, alpha y recursive in y is confined. So it has a pointed subset. So this is why alpha y, recursive in y is, uh, is a 
the is called uh, ranges to three degree cofinery, so it has a point subset. Then I think uh, this is a well known result. I don't know who who read it. And then then that means uh, alpha y must bond it has an upper bond below omega one. So then it means it has a upper bond. It's like you over this point is set p, you can have a function uh, from reals to omega one such that uh, okay f f or x always less or less than omega one. X, then it must be a const, uh, constant or uh, upper cone because it's by sigma one bondiness by some higher recursion facts and uh, maybe such theory facts. I, 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 I don't remember who proved it, but yeah, it's, it's, I expect the details that, that proves just a usual bondiness argument by, by sigma one bondiness argument. So, so this means uh, all upper cone is alpha, alpha X is, has an upper bond. It then it means also up, then it means uh, after stable that okay and uh, at as upper bound alpha alpha beta okay such so for example beta as a, as a fixed upper bound it means then at the a beta you already see the Hausdorff dimension and then it must be has Hausdorff dimension y because if later if if the is let if delta let's say equal to one, then it because the host of dimension of A has a Y. So you can must confirm found another real Y in A such that such that uh, Y in some Y in A minus A beta and has host of dimension one relative to this X, then you got a contradiction, it becomes unstable. So so we we prove that it's for sigma one. But, but of course we need the STD and the, and then it's it's over complicated. They prove it's, it's the proof is always <coughs> it's over killed, of course, because they prove this by uh, CFC and uh, of CF plus this, and then we prove, but we can prove it by CF plus uh, uh, STD. Yeah, STD. So this is the this is the proof. Uh, BM result. Then, okay. Then we can we can go on this project and then we can prove actually a CUCF plus DC plus STD and the BM theorem holds for every set of reals. And every set of reals, the hot stuff dimension of any set of reals can be approximated by its closed subset. And uh, this also uh, I just found uh, Dennis told uh, told me and. Uh, Actually, this was also proved by recently last year, just last year, and Chrome Fishman and Jackson, they proved this uh, on the CF plus DC plus AD. They need a full AD. They, they, they build a, a design a game called a Hostoff dimension, Hostoff game, Hostoff dimension or something like that. I, I, don't, I, I, I didn't read the paper carefully. And, uh, <coughs> And uh, it, they just you, they use a uh, full AD actually, and uh, they also use a very deep result you in such theory. But actually, you know, recursion is not so deep, so we we don't need a we we don't know uh, so many deep deep theorem. So and uh, we just we just need need some basic tools. And uh, so and uh, now fix any find fix any set A. And uh, for of course, of course uh, for the simplicity, we also uh, still the uh, Hausdorff dimension of A uh, is, is one. So one. Then still by the Madison school's results, and uh, we uh, actually this proof is quite like a measurability uh, proof. And so uh, so suppose A X A has a Hausdorff dimension one. Then by the medicine result, so we know this phi e. So uh, phi e for any x, sorry, for any y, we can find some x to the above y. And the x is low for uh, host stuff dimension relative to y, but the uh, s jump can be very high, arbitrarily high. It means uh, it can come it can, can compute some real, some real, it can com compute some real R in A, which has a Hausdorff dimension relative to, Hausdorff dimension one relative to Y. 
but X is low for host dimension relative to Y. So R has, R has a host of dimension one relative to X. And X jump compute this R. So we can fix some E such as this is true, the host of dimension one. So this means, uh, uh, so this has, is co-final, has co-final to the degrees. So it must have a pointing subset by STD. By STD. So we, then just like uh, the major variability. So, so we know we know this is some C of uh, we define this C to be a subset of A. It's a subset of A such that uh, and, uh, and uh, because this R always belongs to A because it's a subset of A. And uh, and, and so and so it, it can so by the by loose and loose result, this has this C has half stop dimension one, and this is sigma one set. So it's a sigma one subset of A has half stop dimension one, and which has has half stop dimension CNS A. But we already see the C can be approximated by a compact subset of C. So we actually we prove A can be approximated by this closed subset. So we are done. So this this is the this is the proof, and uh, so but uh, but we we don't know uh, this is what this is can this is thought can be proved by TD because actually you as you know you see all of the proof heavily depends on pointing the subset because we need a pointing subset to reduce the arbitrary side to be sigma and uh, not sigma one one subset. And this is a very useful tool, and so, and uh, we don't know how to prove it under TD. So, uh, this is my talk. Thanks. Thanks, Liang. Um, it's a very nice talk. Um, I'm opening the space for anybody to ask questions, just unmute yourselves and ask, please. Stop sharing, man. Um, just a, a background question, because I know very little about TD. Is there a natural model of TD which is not a model of AD or? We don't know, it's a big open problem. We don't know what TD implies AD. No questions then. Um, okay, so let's. What, what uh, was, uh, sorry. So, what was the uh, uh, Wooden's theorem? Wooden has a result that relates uh, TD to AD, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. He proved in LR AD, uh, LR plus, uh, if it's a TF plus TC, and in LR TD equivalent to AD. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Do, you, do you think that there's uh, an act that, that the Besakovich theorem, say for the projective sets, do you think that has it? Uh, do you have any idea of whether that actually is a strong statement or could it be consistent with very weak, large cardinal assumptions? I don't know, actually. Yeah, uh, I have not looked, looked at it, but uh, I don't know. I don't, yeah. Yeah, I, I just probably. Mm -hmm. Uh, it under TD, but I don't. But I don't know whether it can be reduced to consistent to be zero. Like, I don't. I don't think that the perfect set property has has all. Is that true? I mean, I, if I remember right, the perfect set property is not is not a strong property. You know, in that sense. Yeah, yeah, the perfect set property is stronger. It's stronger than CFC, right? Perfect yeah, set property. You need the set of cardinal. Yeah, so I think it's, but I don't think it, it's at the level of the large cardinals that go into determinism. But in, in no, 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 of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a very weak, it's a, it's a, it's a very, it's inaccessible, just. Ted, does, does, 
the solar phase model have a perfect set of properties? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's just an inaccessible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it could be that this that this uh, Besakovich theorem is is as a standalone principle not that strong. I mean, it's interesting that that determinacy. Yeah. Yeah. It's another regularity property that follows from determinacy, but it's it could as a standalone yeah. statement not not actually be that strong. Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah. Could it be that it holds in Solovey's model? Yeah. Uh, I yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. What, That's a good what guess. Is, what's supposed to hold the Solovey's model? In any uh, subset of positive Hausdorff dimension, the dimension is supported by its compact substance. Yeah. So that's the question. Is is that statement a strong statement? Mm -hmm. Or even for pylon one set, because the or even yes, or pylon yeah. one sets or projective yeah. sets. I guess yeah. uh, Shaw Shaw got into that question for measure and showed you can get the inaccessible. Mm. So you could ask whether the same thing is true for dimension. Mm. And there's a lot of interesting things to try to figure out that this uh, area I think has some interesting things to still investigate. Yeah. So may I comment uh, just on on a, on a sociological statement you made? Uh, you mentioned your paper TD implies CCR. Yeah, yeah. Which I read uh, recently. You said it's seventy percent recursion theory, thirty percent th set theory. Actually, it feels like eighty-five percent. Recursion theory. <laughs> you think, okay. Do you really think that that much recursion theory is needed for this uh, purely set theoretical statement? I don't know. I just proved it. I, I, uh, maybe you can get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> but but twenty degrees are recursion theory notation, so you cannot. Fully get rid of it. That it at least has a one percent. <laughs> uh, well, you, you start with the recursive sex forcing and uh, yeah, yeah, and go on and on and on. That's okay. Yeah. If there aren't any other questions, let's uh, thank Liang again. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. Yeah.